Hello guys, how are you all doing? Um, just want to do another little video on um, one of my recent pickups I got in. Um, this is the uh, life-size bust of Medusa. This is uh, made by Elite Creature Collectibles. Sculpted by um, Steve Wang, the uh, the master Steve Wang. Uh, I love, love his work. Um, just one of the best out there in my opinion. Um, yeah, I mean, I saw this uh, when it was like sort of showed... Um, you know, it was it was shown to us about a year, maybe a year and a half ago, um, at one of their booths. And when I saw it, I I thought I've got to get this piece. It just looks amazing. Uh, I knew it would be good. Um, it's Steve Wang. I, I love his work. I just think he's an absolute masterclass. Um, one of the best artists out there. And um, yeah, I just had to try and get it. Um, so it was a case of waiting. And to be honest, when this started to ship and I started to see pictures of it and videos, I wasn't actually that blown away. I thought it looked really good. It didn't blow me away. And I, I, I kind of held off because I thought it's going to be a lot of money. Um, and I want it to blow me away. If I'm going to spend that kind of money, um, it's got to be pretty special. So... I wasn't that impressed, and the reason being is um, I don't think this photographs very well. Um, it, it it looks decent in in pictures, and even on video, it looks decent. You've got to see this thing in the flesh. Um, you've got to like have it in front of you to really appreciate it. It's one of those pieces. I, I said it again with uh, I think it was the Blitzway Bruce Lee. Uh, which had a, had some sort of uh, translucent resin on that as well, and uh, this this bust um, I did know how much they actually use, but they've used a hell of, hell of, hell of a lot of um, translucent resin, um, and the camera will never quite pick up all the blemishes, all the colours. Um, and like I say, you've got to see this thing in the flesh. So yeah, I initially sort of held off. Um, but then I saw a couple of other videos recently and I thought I've got to get it. Uh, I just saw a slightly different angle which showed it in a different light. Because again, this, this, this bust, um, similar to their, uh, their grey alien, it reacts differently in, in light. Um, so, you know, in different sort of light sources, it does kind of change. Um, but I decided to go for it and I had to make a few very, very tough decisions in terms of moving pieces on to... Um, make room and help fund this piece so it was it was blood sweat and sweat tears for a good couple of weeks but i got there and um yeah she's delivered um i got a couple of very very small needles with my one but um or one really but um you know nothing nothing bad so let's have a look at it so what i'm gonna try and do is on the videos that are actually already on youtube and they're all really really good um i've looked at them so many times I'm going to try and show you some, some bits that maybe wasn't shown on those videos, so I'll do my best, but again, you know, the camera will not tell the full story on this piece. So let's start with what we got on the base. Um, I recently watched um, Chris Blue's review on this piece, and he felt that the, uh, the base was quite uh, sloppy and it didn't really sort of fit the bust. Or the character even and I've got to agree to a certain extent um, I mean on his on his video and I don't know whether he was using flash but he had these kind of like bluish drips all down the bust and I have I've got some they don't look as prominent on mine uh, so like I say I don't know whether he had um, had his flash on I'm not too sure I was slightly worried about that because um, it's not you know ECC a very 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 good with their paint applications and it did look a little bit rough but in all honesty i'm i'm, I'm actually quite happy with it um like i say you, you, they are there you've got these kind of like elements of like green uh kind of like weathering all down all down here and you know it, it is here and there but it isn't actually that prominent um and i remember uh, um chris was saying about the the the, the base looking quite like kind of like futuristic and like as if it's sort of come out of like um you know like a space movie or like you know something like that or like a mass effect game or something and i kind of agree um 
but once I, I got this set up, I've actually grown to quite like the base. Um, I think it looks pretty decent. And I was a little bit worried about the gold. I thought the gold was going to be quite in your face, but it's actually quite a nice gold. And it's got some, some you know, quite a decent tone to it as well. It's not just gold. It's some like, sort of, like I say, you've got the greens and then you've got like the darker kind of like, you know, um, you know, tones all, all, all over really. And there's some like browns in there as well. So it is well done. Um, and if we go on to the uh, the booklet, I mean, you get this with the bus as well. So yeah, let, let me, let's just reverse a little bit. So for the base, we got the booklet. It's like a, a little booklet that comes with the bus, and basically, it shows you the start to finish process of this absolute masterpiece. Um, so let's have a little look at it. So I didn't get this when I when I got my other. Uh, I got the the Reaper and Drake. I don't think they they included these. Well, I didn't get them, so I don't I don't know. But basically, it gives you a little bit of um, background information on uh, um, you know who Medusa is and why Steve Wang wanted to you know choose Medusa. Uh, I, I, this, this is the sort of first bust. Um, uh, that he's gonna do in, in terms of like these kind of like characters and, and creatures and monsters um, And I, 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 I'm sure he did say that if it, if it went well, then he's gonna be doing many more so I think he will be um, So yeah, it gives you a little bit of background um, information um, on Medusa With some really really nice artwork and then we come on to this is the these are the bits I like um comes on to like the working drawings the initial sketches of the you know the vision of um you know where this piece is going in terms of the base the angles and and why why he's chose kind of like um if we look at the bust if you look at like face on maybe not this this um jaw because you've got two switch outs but she's she's quite a a, a, a beautiful uh woman um, but then obviously as you go to the side you, you, you start to see the snake aspect and um, you know in this in this book he, he explains why and, and you know why he wanted to do that it's it's so so good you've got the man there himself sculpting the uh, the bust and then uh, yeah it's just it's just start to finish really in in probably around 15 pages or so um, of uh, the whole process and and what I like as well it even um, names and shames, if you like, um, the individual um, team members, you know, working on different parts. So you've got like the people doing the cast, you've got the, the artists that worked on the snakes, you've got, you know, Steve Wang. And I think that's excellent. I just think that, um, I just think that oozes confidence because what I will say with, with Elite Creature Collectibles, if you get any of their pieces, um, you will find very, very hard to fault them. Um, and uh, yeah, like I say, I just think, I, I, I think this book is a class act, but I just think it oozes confidence because they're, 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 they're so confident in what they're doing. Um, and you know, there's pictures of the team there, they're working on their piece. I just, I just think it's a class act. Absolutely awesome. You know, you've got the uh, artists there. Brooke Morgan. So yeah, name and shame, but there's no shame in this piece. It's it's a it's a masterpiece, an absolute masterpiece. So yeah, you've got that booklet, which is really nice. I'm gonna get a nice little um, cover for that, and then you've got the uh, certificate of authenticity. Uh, this is comes in like a nice like like the other bus. You've got like a nice plastic cover on that to to protect it, and it's signed by the man himself, Steve Wang. Um, absolutely awesome and we've got this switch out jaw which I will show you a little bit later on so that's those bits um, and then like I say you've got the base I've got a little mark on mine just there so I'm gonna have to um, just touch that in a little bit um, nothing major you know um, other than that that's, that's that was all that was, that was wrong with mine um, so if we go up so we'll start <laughs> um, at the uh, chest area and um, it's pr uh, pretty awesome, um, you know, it's well sculpted, um, but this is where it gets um, um, tricky because I don't know whether the camera will actually pick any of this up, but this is where you can really sort of see the, uh, the translucent resin in effect. Um, so if we sort of like look into the center here, you've got these kind of like greenish bluey veins 
that are going around here and up there as well. And the camera might show hints of it, but it's, it's a lot more prominent in person. And this is what I mean. Um, when you consider it's just that, if I'm just putting that, that part there, you're talking about a, a, a good bulk of the bust that is like this because they've used a hell of a lot of translucent resin. So you get these kind of like under undertones, you know, these under hues, these veins, these little blemishes that kind of look as though they're set within the skin. Um, and then you've got like the exceptional paint job on top of that as well. I mean, it just, it's, unbelievably good um i will go you know I'll, I'll put my neck on the line to say that this this is the most um uh by far i would say the best paint job i've ever seen um in front of me on on, on any kind of statue or bust um i'd go to i'd, I'd go as, you know i this is the best bust i've seen uh period um i would have said the reaper probably uh, was the best and I think I've said that uh, before in terms of mass-produced busts this this is better this this is a, another level and when you see this in front of you the sheer craziness uh, the sculpt you know the size but, but more important more importantly that the paint job it's hard to put it into words just how good the paint job is on this like on, on this piece um, so we come around here so if we look at the face, for example, here's a good example. On camera, it's looking sort of, uh, sort of fluorescent. It's looking sort of quite kind of white. Um, and maybe you can sort of see these kind of like pink hues around the cheeks, but there's a lot more going on. And again, you've got to see this in person. It's just absolutely phenomenal. Again, if we come in close, you can see the texture on the skin, but what it's not actually showing you is some of these really nice little like purpley pink kind of little blemishes on the skin and you've got these green veins. They're a lot more prominent when they're like in, in front of you. It just looks absolutely phenomenal. Look at the mouth. You've got, uh, I think they're acrylic teeth. But I'll take the mouth off in a minute and I'll show you the detail. You know, they, they, they don't miss a trick, these guys. And then you've got those absolutely awesome eyes. I mean, look at those. Completely captivating. Uh, real eyelashes, which is a really nice touch. Uh, the eyes do light up as well. I will show you that um, towards the end of the video. When I do the switch out, I'll show you that. And then, if we look, go up, you've got the 30 snakes. Now, bearing in mind, I'm stepping right back here. The bust itself, they say, on the base is around a metre high. Uh, I think it's probably a little bit higher than that. And then if you take into the, the equation how you want to, you know, set the snakes up, um, you're tw you, it's got some serious, serious size to it. Um, you know, and, and width as well. I mean, look at it. It is huge, absolutely huge. Now the really cool thing with these snakes is um, you can actually pose these and display them how you like. So I, I like that. I like that 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 feature. I think it it you know you can kind of like put your own individual touch to um, your your own bust. You know you can. I've I've heard of people that have sort of turned the snakes on other snakes. I think I did it with one of mine. But I've been playing with them quite a lot, really, and moving them about. But you could like have one sort of attacking another snake, or you could have all the snakes facing its 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 victim. You could have them just sort of crazy and going in all sorts of different directions. Um, what it does do in the booklet, it, it does tell you that there's points where it, it, it's kind of like where to hold the snake to bend it. I didn't read that to be honest. Um, I, I might actually uh, reshape some of mine because I don't want to damage any of them. But um, I would say, guys, if, if, if you are going to get this piece, first of all, the box is massive. It's a pain in the ass to unbox. Make sure you've got plenty of head height to actually get the, the brown shipper off because it is massive, absolutely massive. And secondly, um, you know, you might want two people to get it out because it's a heavy, heavy piece. And secondly, take a little look at the book because I, I didn't really know about the snakes. I just sort of went straight in. Um, when you put these snakes in, these are all, all these slots are numbered. So it's you know the snakes numbered, the slots numbered. So it's it's not hard. 
but you might want to just have a little you know a little quick look through the book and and just see if there's any kind of like like, like i say with the snakes in terms of shaping them etc so bear that in mind so if we come around to the side i mean just look at that I was watching, um, like I say, I've, I've, I've watched every every review of this several times on YouTube, um, and, and Chris Ballou and, and, and someone else was saying in the comments that they would have liked more snakes. Um, and I was kind of like on board with that until I actually got it in front of me. Um, and when you set this up, um, you get 30 snakes. So, you know, you got 30 snakes on top of the head. I think if you had more, what it would do it would hide a lot of all this unbelievable detail, you know, on the skin and, and you know, all these really nice colours, the translucent resin, the, you know, the texture and, and the overall shape. I mean, it's a tricky one to, to shape, like, you know, to shape, to, to, to put on display, but if you've got it, uh, you know, it, where you can view it on the side as well, I mean, if you just look at that angle there, to me, that is epic. That is totally epic. I love all these snakes coming out at an angle and then you've got this kind of like dome of the snake it's it's I, I don't know what what snake it is but it's kind of like hooded so you could sort of say it's kind of like a cobra and like i say if if you had more snakes coming out I, I just think it would it would get a little bit too chaotic and it would just it would hide this unbelievable detail i i feel but again if we come around the back I'm not joking. This this skin, it looks like snake skin. It really does. It it, it feels like it feels like skin as well. It's it's so well done. Just look at that. It just looks great from every angle. But I I really like this. I really like this angle where just on the diagonal where you can see the back and the, the you know the hood of the snake and all the snakes coming out and you can just see like the face you know depending on which which mouth you've got in whether it's like more of the kind of like beautiful looking woman or whether you've got the real freaky open mouth like i've got here with the tongue really really cool i'm just gonna put a short pause in and i will set the other mouth up and we'll stick the eyes on so bear with me okay and we are back on so i've just switched out the other jaw so this is like the less scary I, I did like one of their one of their videos at the uh, ECC booths where they said oh if you've got children around you can like put the uh, the closed mouth on so it's not scary really I mean you've got a woman that's like like half snake with 30 snakes on her head whether that mouth's open or not it's it's pretty damn freaky but I can kind of see what they're saying but um we just come down here it's just so well done. Look at that. I've put the eyes on. So with the eyes, you've just got these like little sort of yellowish. Um, it's just like a piercing kind of LED. Uh, it looks really nice. You know, it's, it's just, it, it just adds something, especially if you've got this in low lighting and then you put the eyes on. It, it's not too in your face and it's very, very sort of captivating. Um, it's a nice touch. Really, really nice touch. I've got to say, in terms of the switch outs, they both look excellent. Uh, I think the open mouth is more impressive because it just shows more detail. But even if you go with the closed mouth, um, it looks really nice. You know, she looks absolutely stunning um, in her own kind of way. But it is, it's, it's a really, really awesome piece, guys. If you uh, I know that these are coming out in batches at the moment. If you've got this on order, you're gonna love it. Um, I, I don't think you're gonna have anything in your collection. Um, that I don't know, you might have. If you are, you're very lucky. Um, I've, I've not seen anything as good as this, in, in, in all honesty. It's phenomenal. If we have a little look at this jaw, it's very, very heavy. I mean, look at the detail on this. You just come around here, focus in. Look at that. I mean, everything is just so well done. Look at those like purple and pink, you know, tones. It's so well painted. The little dots, the acrylic teeth. They are, um, yeah, you can just sort of like just see your finger through them. It just all adds to what I think 
is an unbelievably special, special piece. I can't praise this thing enough, guys. It's, it's amazing. Elite Creature Collectibles, they're just... They're on a different level. They really are. And um, if, you, if you are ordering pieces with them, you've got no worries with them. No worries whatsoever. They've got some good stuff coming out. The Freddy bust looks amazing. Uh, the Jason uh, Voorhees bust, uh, again, it looks great. Uh, the Marcus bus is coming out next. That should be coming out soon. I think that's going to look very good as well. You know, everything they do is just phenomenal. So, there you go, guys. The uh, Elite Creature Collectibles Medusa. If you are going to get it, um, do it soon. Because I can, I can see this one going up quite quick. Um, and if you've got it coming, you're going to love it. You're going to absolutely love it. Anyway guys, I'm going to end it there, I've gone on too long. Um, I hope you liked the video, I hope it tried to sort of show you some um, different elements to the other videos on YouTube. And um, I will see you on the next video, I've got some other little videos to do, but I wanted to get this one done. I will catch you later. Take it easy guys, stay safe.